Okay, so start off part three. I'm going to first intimidate a few stock keepers to so they will lower their prices so I can buy some uh, of their goods at cheaper prices. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk black market. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Right, so I chose this one first because he has the least complicated scheme that comes along with him. And I'm just going to buy that ship bottle because I just like to collect them off my cabin. And then it's not for rifle damage for my character. So now I'm going to start this off. Uh, little side quest over here. Welcome back. What can I do for you? No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep one. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to her, what brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Carrot's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off the station. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But uh, no one will buy from me when it's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Eric for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. You can convince him to lay off. Maybe I'll get off the station after all. He shops up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. So I have the discount here. And then, this is also for the mission on the, uh, that I took. Then I just, ah. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk. One annoying thing is that A button not only used for run, but used for cover and talk. So, sometimes you have to do something that you don't want to do. Then just run up here. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the quarry over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that should be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount. At all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk so, if you want to buy. Again, buy the model ship. I'm gonna get the visor because I want to use that instead. Might as well. Then, now I just need to go to uh, re-equip some gear. Right, and I also have the syrup ice brandy, so I can complete one mission on the Normandy, too.
with this area to ship. So, this is where my collection of ships go as I buy them. And then, not really much here besides the fact that I can ch change my armor when I feel like it. And then come here to complete this one mission. How may I help you, Commander? Well, sign me. I have a present for you, Doc. Sam's ice brandy? You do? <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, but I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glass. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins popped up and yelled, Wow, what an awesome! <sighs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten the tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. I'm away. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Just Jerko will always have Brolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it worked, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, well, maybe it's you, Shepard, our immovable set. A place for a person to stop and catch a breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that? One. I I don't know. I like that toast right there. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Whoosh. Now that I'm trying to find my way back to the control room, the little assistant next to the map told me I had a message, so I'll just check to see whatever it is. And then I'm going to head off to go rescue the professor and get him onto my team so I can actually do research projects. Lied to me.
I don't want another mad top rifle because it's only semi-automatic, so it doesn't really help much. At least in my opinion. First, quarantine zone, which is just right, right by where the stores were. Let's go through this door. You have this guy who talks about humans being a blade on, on the galaxy, and then you have the quarantine zone right here. Claiming this pointless human, there's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. Plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. Doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a solarium named Morgan Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? That crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morgan's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Except for the and fact that I have weapons. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. No, I'm going here. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. I just realized what I keep forgetting to do. There we go. That's why. And this will end part three. Part four will just be doing this mission.